Have you ever wondered what this world would be without God or Christianity without Christ? Has a product ever existed without a manufacturer? Life is an image. Every manufacturer goes into production to project his vision and ideas through his products. When this product fails to actualize the manufacturer's intent, he withdraws it and will reform it into a more pleasing product. This disease brings me to the topic of this video, Screaming Jesus. Hi, my name is O.A. Abraham and this is Reasoning Together. No good and legitimate product I ever produced to hide the name of its manufacturer. It is put out in public to promote the manufacturer's name and the image. When Peter and John appeared before the Sanhedrin, it wasn't their words that left the Sanhedrin spellbound, but their deeds and composure. After taking conscientious assessment of the disciples, the Sanhedrin realized that they were unschooled and common men, yet astonished because the disciples' deeds were screaming, Jesus. The name, Christian, wasn't phenomenal until it was first noted in the book of Acts 11, 26. Before then, the disciples were simply known as followers of the way. This assumed title prevailed, not because the disciples consider it a trend to have a name befitting of their faith, but after careful observation and verifications of the disciples' qualifications over a period of time, the observers conclude that there is no better name befitting these disciples whose ways of life had been screaming, Jesus. Daniel's screaming of Jesus was resonating that his enemies could no longer tolerate him but schemes to assassinate him. In spite of Daniel's awareness of his enemies' plots to systematically execute him, Daniel remained resolute and kept on screaming Jesus without utterance and confrontation and God showed up for him. Time will not permit me to go into details the, the story of Ananiah, Michelle and Nazaria, whose profound screaming of Jesus brought to his knees the most fearsome king of their time, Nebuchadnezzar, to the admittance of God being the most high and the only true God. All I've been saying is, unless your personality is deeply rooted in God, you will fade away. Likewise, it isn't enough for Christians to claim him belonging to Jesus and confessing his name. Letting your faith by your deeds do the screaming are what's required of you. Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle, and Nazariah belong to the covenanted people of God and also confesses his name. Being misled by their leaders and their unfaithfulness to God's commandment, led God to hand them over to their captors. Yet, these four men, regardless of God's judgments already passed upon them, distinguished themselves from other captives and uphold, to uphold God's uh, law and commandments, though it cost them their lives. Actions speak louder than words. Therefore, it is high time you let the confession of your faith revibrate through your lifestyle. I will conclude this message by drawing parallel comparison to 1 Peter 3, 1-4. As it is expected of that Christian woman to win over a unbelieving husband by a godly conduct where her words are filled. In the same vein, our conduct and deeds shouldn't fail us as Christians where our voices has lost its audibility. Here is my question for you. Are your ways of life screaming Jesus? If you would like to see more of my videos, kindly follow the instructions below. I also look forward to receiving your comments on this message. And I hope you receive this message with sober reflection. Until I come your way again, Stay safe, stay focused, and God bless you.